Hello everybody, today I'm at the North American International Auto Show taking a look at this 2023 Chevy Equinox Premier all-wheel drive. Starting off up front we have really nice LED accent lights as well as fog lights, black and chrome grill with the Chevy bow tie. Your front facing camera is going to be right underneath the Chevy bow tie. Parking sensors are going to be integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Coming around to the wheel and tire setup we have a 19 inch machine and in gray wheel on some Hankook Kinenergy GTs. Equinox badging is going to be lower on the door panel. We have this really nice plastic molding along the uh, rocker panels. Color matched mirror caps. Your under mirror 360 degree camera system is going to be right here. This guy has chrome and color matched uh, door handles with the passive entry system so as long as you have the key fob on you you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door. Up top we have this real nice brushed aluminum or brushed chrome looking roof rack. Coming around to the back we have your capless fuel fill port, LED tail lamps with incandescent bulbs for your reverse bulbs and your signal bulbs I believe. Chevy bow tie is going to be right here backup camera is right underneath. Your Equinox badge is on the driver's side and your all-wheel drive Premier badge is on your passenger side. Parking sensors again on the bottom portion of the bumper. Really beautiful blue color. I hope this is coming through for you guys on camera. I'm really sorry about the lighting at the show. None of it's natural light. It's all this crazy bright LED stuff that casts really weird shadows and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to correct that for you. But Overall, beautiful exterior. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Starting off over here on the driver's side door, I want to point out this is how you open the trunk on this vehicle. There's a little button right down there. Max, three quarters of the way open or off. If you turn it off, you're going to have to actually go to the back and open the trunk manually. Two seat memory, all your window controls, driver window is automatic up and down. We have all the mirror controls right here. We have the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster, as well as the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as your fog light button. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, miscellaneous gauges in the middle, and then an LCD screen underneath that. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have mild bolsters at 10 and two, decent leather wrapped steering wheel. All of your cruise control buttons are gonna be right here, including your gap adjustment for your uh, adaptive cruise control. Your heated steering wheel button is going to be right here. Lane keep assist button right there. Your steering wheel mounted phone controls are right here. And then your control pad for the center LCD display is going to be right here. Very nice touch screen. This uses the old operating system. I prefer it over the new operating system. The new operating system is good. I just like this one because it's minimalistic and it's sleek. Uh, you can control everything from here. You have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa, Spotify, a 4G LTE connection, navigation, everything. This thing is absolutely awesome. Physical buttons underneath the radio, or touchscreen I should say. Automatic start stop off, it is on by default. Hazard light button. Heated and ventilated seats for the driver. Heated and ventilated seats for the passenger. Dual zone climate control. Push button start. Underneath that you have a SD car reader. USB-C, USB, an auxiliary jack with a 12 volt outlet. Wireless charging mat is gonna be right here. You have your all wheel drive button in front of the shifter with manual plus minus. In front of the cup holders, you have a parking sensor off and then a parallel park button. And then right here you have two cup holders, electronic parking brake, and a little storage tray. Really nice deep storage compartment with two USB ports that is LED lit. Very comfortable leather wrap seats in this vehicle. Coming to the glove box, pretty big glove box for this size of vehicle. LED lit vanity for the passenger as well as your driver. Glasses storage up top. Three door universal garage remote. All the controls for the twin pane sunroof. LED dome map light master controls as well. Then we have your SOS and OnStar buttons, as well as your auto dimming rear view mirror. 
Let's take a quick look at the back and see how much leg room we have. So the driver's seat is a little farther back than it would be if I was driving. Even with that, I still have about three inches of leg room before my knees hit the front seat. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Heated seats and seat backs for the rear passengers. Two USBs as well as a 120 uh, volt, 150 watt power outlet. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And even though there's a twin pane sunroof, these seats slightly recline a little bit to where I have a decent amount of headroom. Because of the twin pane sunroof, my map lights, my hanger hooks, and my grab handle is on the outermost side of the headliner. And overall, I'm pretty comfortable back here. Let's take a look at the trunk and see how much cargo space we have. So there's gonna be a couple ways to open the trunk on this vehicle. The first way is with the key fob, I don't have that. Second way is with the button on the driver's side door. And the third way is the traditional way. You're gonna come up to it underneath the Chevy bow tie, push the button, lights are gonna flash, it's gonna beep at you a couple times, and then it's gonna open up for you. Decent amount of storage back here. Under floor storage, 12 volt outlet. Pull on these two latches and those seats will drop forward. If you are, accessing the seats from the doors you can pull on these latches right here and it will actually unlock the seat and they will spring forward for you once you're done doing your business back here come to the right side of the trunk lid push the button again the lights will flash the chimes will beep letting you know that the trunk is closing so there you have it 2023 chevy equinox premier all-wheel drive if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date on more auto show content, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.